Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F1-1 from R.C. Hibaler Mechanics of Material 8 edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the internal normal force, shear force and bending moment at point C in the beam. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw the support reactions. So point A is roller supported. So I have a vertical reaction at point A. The point B is pin connected, so I have two reactions, one in vertical direction, another one in the horizontal direction. Let's label them. This is RAY and this is RBY and that's RBX. Now the second step is to find their values by using the equations of the equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of the forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have RAY plus RBY minus this 10,000 Newton force in the downward direction equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Our second equation would be summation of the forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have Rbx equals to 0. Let's call this equation 2. And the third equation would be summation of moments equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise moment as positive and I am summing the moments at point A. So I have this 60 kN meter external moment in the counterclockwise direction so it would be taken as positive. Similarly this RAY will not produce any moment about point A because it is passing through it. So there is no moment arm. The RBY is trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about point A. So it would be taken as positive. And the moment arm from point A is this much distance. And it is equals to 2 meters. Similarly, RBX will not produce any moment about point A because the RBX has a value of 0 from equation 2. Now this 10,000 Newton force is trying to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about point A. So it would be taken as negative. And the moment arm for this 10,000 Newton force is 2 plus this 2 meters. So in total 4 meters from point A equals to 0. Alright. So from this equation, RBY comes out to be, if we solve it, that would be 20,000 divided by 2. So it would be negative 10,000 Newtons. Now we can substitute this value into our equation 1, into this equation. So from equation 1, Ray is equals to 10,000 Newtons minus Rby and Rby is negative 10,000 Newtons. So Ray becomes 20,000 Newtons. So 
So now we have found the values of the support reactions. Now we have to find the internal forces at point C. So if I zoom in and if I just cut a cross section before point C, you can do it from both sides, right hand side or left hand side. I'm doing it from the left hand side. Example, if I cut a cross section somewhere here. Here, somewhere here. And let's name this section as A and A dash. And if I draw this section taken out, the section would look something like that. So this is 60 kilo Newton meter external moment. Newton meter and this is RAY at a distance of 2 meters from left hand side. And let's call this distance as X. And on this cross section, I have internal forces because of the external loading. So I would have a shear force in the downward direction, I am assuming. And the normal force, also I would have a bending moment. Let me just show it with the blue color. So bending moment is M, normal force is N, and the shear force is V. So again, to find them, we are going to use the equilibrium equations. So our first equation would be summation of the forces in Y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have RAY minus V equals to 0 and if you recall RAY is equals to 20,000 Newtons. So V is also equals to 20,000 Newtons. This is our first answer. Now for the normal force, summation of the forces in x direction equals to 0, I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have N equals to 0. So the normal reaction at phase C is equals to 0. At the cross section is equals to 0. This is our second answer. Now for the bending moment. Now I am summing the moments at this section A A dash I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. So I have 60 kilo Newton meter external moment in the counterclockwise direction kilo Newton meters and this R A Y is trying to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about the section A A dash. So it would be taken as negative.
and the moment arm would be that much distance from the cross section to the ray if it is equals to x and then i have the bending moment in the clockwise direction so it would be taken as negative equals to zero so from here if i zoom in this original diagram and if I compare it with my cross section, so x is this distance, the distance from r a pi and the section a a dash. So to reach the point c, x has to be one meters. So let's go back to our equation for bending moment. So for point c x has to be 1 meters so putting in this equation m is equals to 60000 minus r a y and r a y is 20000 into x and that is 1 so bending moment comes out to be 40,000 newtons meter. Let's summarize it. R A Y is equals to 20,000 newtons. R B Y is negative 10,000 newtons. Rbx is equals to 0 and shear force at point C is equals to 20,000 newtons. Normal force at point C is 0 newtons and the bending moment at point C is equals to 40,000 newtons meter. Sorry, there is a mistake with the unit. It's not Newton, it's Newton meter actually. So this is it for this problem. If you have any questions or any doubt about this problem, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.